Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to arguably the worst Call of Duty in history. Fucking Warzone 2 slash Modern Warfare 2. Uh, do, I, do I count Warzone 2 as its own game? We are on this game for Season 4. Basically, Activision's last hope. Activision's last chance. They, they are trying to stim fucking Modern Warfare 2 right now. They are really trying to drop a stim on that shit. It is, Activision is on the ropes with this game. And I guess really like the franchise as a whole. Um, I'm gonna get into that in a little bit, but there has been so much controversy, so many issues. Let's see, let's see their last effort to make the game playable. So basically, I mean, this is the new map and, uh, I I'm assuming this is somewhat crowd control for this game. Like Activision is on the ropes right now. As I said earlier, they are, there is so much fucking controversy going on starting off. You know what I'm saying? With the biggest one, probably Nick Merckx and Tim the Time, man, that shit probably got the most attention. Nick Merckx just tweeted some dumb shit. They had to be, Call of Duty had to be politically correct. And they took his thing out. The Tim the Time man also wanted his bundle out. It just triggered a good portion of the Call of Duty community for political reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like, game companies getting involved in politics never ends out good. Followed up by them taking down all the clients. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only reason I'm playing this right now, to be honest, is the fact that the X Defiant beta is over and we're going to have to wait like a couple months for the full game. And all the clients were taken down. I was grinding the BO3 client. Like, like I fucking, I literally clipped the greatest sniper. I'm, I'm not even, I clipped the greatest sniper in Call of Duty history. Watch this, watch this. Beginning of summer would be the perfect time. Ooh. One. Holy fuck, he just single, single, tripled me, five, five multi. That was actually ridiculously nice. My clipping software, like, didn't recognize BO3 as a game because it's a client. I was using, like, a public client or some shit like that so that I could play BO3 without, you know, getting my shit hacked. And, uh, unfortunately, it all got taken down. Call of Duty got a little jelly that, uh, people wanted to play their good games instead of this. So they took it all down. Unfortunately, oh, man's camping up top. Yeah, man. Please. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. What did I just do? I I, I don't know. I feel kind of bad. I'm sorry. Oh fuck! I kind of feel bad. All right, beautiful. I have no enemies. I have no enemies of Thorfinn. Oh, no. Anyways, continuing. There are also some more drama regarding the Xbox buyout. Um, Xbox is trying to buy Activision. I don't know if they're trying to make what games exclusive, what's going on, if the buyout's even going through. There's a lot of drama going on. That I'm not really following that. Like, I really don't give a shit, but... Um, if they end up making uh, Call of Duty Xbox and PC only, that will actually be catastrophic. That's, that's literally the, one of the worst possible moves you can do. Do you like they are losing quite literally half, maybe probably even more than half of their fan base? You know what I'm saying? Like, woo, please. I have played a little bit of Vondo, so I know how the game kind of plays out, like like how the pacing is and shit like that. And I'm not gonna lie, the pacing is actually really good like like there is a lot of action in this and for a big map you know what i'm saying 80 players it's it's it, it, it's really weird it's really weird um they're it, they're trying to please like both fan bases like the classic br fan base as well as like the rebirth fan base i guess and it, in my opinion it's it's really not a bad attempt like why did i say attempt like that attempt it's not a bad attempt it's not it's not a bad attempt. 
in my opinion like bigger bigger maps have like never been the wave for call of duty uh, brs like verdansk even i i just didn't even fuck with it that much it was definitely fun when it first came out you know something new um played a little bit got like a couple wins you could probably still find some of my old videos like I, I think i have like an old video my first fucking warzone when i was a fucking squeaker and shit why would you be camping there why would you be camping there like it's just, it's just level 699 man the map it's very fast paced but it can bite you in the ass because a lot of the times i'll get in scenarios where it's just like i fight some guy i get third party the guy who third parties me gets third party and, and then it's just more third party third party it's it's like it's it's really like the food chain like they just continuously kill each other and it, it's kind of rough it's kind of rough but um they are they are starting to make changes in the positive direction the map as a whole hello motherfucker fuck the map as a whole is actually pretty interesting like it's it has like no real lore i don't think it's just like a bunch of like different pois clustered together um i don't even know if it's supposed to be like a specific country and shit like i know they tried to do with the other maps but i mean like i was saying like shika island is like japan and that um the main one i think is al Mazar or whatever is like a desert supposed to be like iraq or afghanistan some some middle east some desert country where i'm from taisha something in that vicinity i'm low-key gonna just bomb drone this guy again like what the fuck Shoot him a little bit. Beautiful. Yep, yep. I need both of you guys to start fighting. Whoa! Why was I not laying down, bro? I was, I was laying down. What the fuck? The classic BR genre, it just does not match Call of Duty. It does not suit Call of Duty. The, the time to kill is way too fast. And, like, in, like, I feel like a majority of games, you're going to be spent, like, just looting up for, like, 15, 20 minutes. And then you just get beamed from behind with no, like no idea where the other person is and then your game's over with rebirth and this research and shit like it makes a lot more sense how there's like a respawn aspect how like it's still a battle royale like you still have to survive you still have to like play tactfully but like you can respawn this is like an arcade shooter like you should be able to respawn and that whole ttk issue bring me to my next point you know what i'm saying they boosted the time to kill on this like this is this is ultimate crowd control and honestly i wouldn't have thought that this update was crowd control if it wasn't for that specific aspect like the time to kill has been like a point of concern for literally the entire community for some time now and they're finally addressing it at least in some way like it's not changing the real core game i don't believe but at least at warzone you feel me a lot of the times warzone is just a glorified hide and seek you know what i'm saying like i said you get beamed from behind whoever sees who whoever sees who first wins most engagements but with the with the bo boosted health or whatever, it makes them a lot more competitive. Like you have a chance to like actually like shoot back. Again, the window is still not that big because like it's Call of Duty. But I mean, it's it's giving you a little bit of a chance. They're taking they're taking strides in the right direction. Another major issue with just Warzone overall that like Call of Duty can't do anything about is just battle royale genre overall makes people camp more. Like it just promotes a way campier like play style. There's nothing you can really do about it. That's just how BRs are. And that was a key issue, mainly on the big map. But you know what I'm saying? Like, like a lot of the time on Rebirth, there's just people running around and shit. But you were way more inclined to camp on like Verdansk and shit because, you know, you wanted to win. Even if you didn't camp on multiplayer or any previous Call of Duty, like, like it, you're just going to start camping at some point in time. In some situations, you're just gonna be forced to camp. Mixed out with the shitty visibility, like the fact that everybody's so dark, everything is so dark, and you can't see shit, it's it, it's literally just hide and seek. It's quite literally just hide and seek. I think one major change that that wouldn't be like, it wouldn't even be too game breaking of a change, but it would completely make the game way better. Is something similar to like how X Defy or Valorant even how there's like a ring around opponents that's like a certain color like you can change the color but there's like a ring that like signifies that there's another opponent somewhere else so it's just way easier to see them on these like dark ass maps but i understand they're trying to go for that realism thing and they've never had that before but i don't know it's just an interesting thought i feel like that would be like a really good way to help people you know what i'm saying see long long term long range engagements would be way more plausible instead of someone camping oh my fucking god and that's how i die
And I'm saying like long-term engagements will be like way easier instead of just like someone on top of a building and you have no idea what fucking floor or window they're shooting you from. But I mean, honestly, on, on a real note, this game and this update in particular really shows that this game actually had a lot of potential and I kind of forgot about that, but at the beginning of the game, like for the first couple months, I remember the entire community was getting behind it. I was getting behind it. I was grinding that shit. Um, I think I fucking Orion on this game. Like it's my last year before college. So I said, fuck it. I'm gonna get the mastery came out at the very least. It's the easiest year. It's the perfect time. Let me just, let me just get it. They fucked up in so many different ways. They changed so many like vital parts of COD. I feel like the game just feels so much stiffer. It just doesn't feel like COD anymore. It feels so stiff. Really trying to push this realism. No reload cancel, no B hopping. Sliding is like super stiff. Like you're literally like, when you slide, you like commit to a slide. Whenever you dolphin dive, you're like stuck to like not shooting for like a second. It's just, everything is so delayed. Everything is so nerfed and limited. It makes the game just feel so unfun. I'm not gonna lie, this game, this game did have its, this, this game did have its moments, you know what I'm saying? Search was definitely fun. It definitely added a bunch of good shit, but I don't know why they haven't brought back Terminal. Like where, where's Terminal, where's Rust? This is MW2. I was expecting some MW2 remakes. Like, we got Dome. It's fucking MW3, bro. It's just, this is a random ass map. They gave us shipment for like the eighth year in a row. Spice it up, please, brother. Please, brother. Spice it up. Like, I swear to God, they've remastered every single map except for Terminal. That's literally the one map I've been begging for. They, they remastered that shit in the worst game in Infinite Warfare. Please, bro. Just give it to me, man. Give it to me. That's. All I honestly really wanted to rant about, about like the state of COD. Now it's time for me to lock in and actually get this up. But yeah, look, look at this mastery camo, boys. I was not lying, not modded. I spent a good amount of time. Look at my level, fucking 375 prestige seven, prestige seven. Are you fucking ridiculous. I'm prestige seven on this guy. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm a fucking nerd. I'm a fucking nerd. I really hate this circle. It's like fucking like the third of the map is playable. Um, it's too late. I guess I'm just gonna go City Hall. I've never been here. So fucking lame. So lame. So lame. So lame. Wait. Don't. Don't. He fucking did it. Look, it's it's the third party thing I was talking about. It's just third party, and then third party, and then third party. Oh well, my! Oh shit! Okay, so I have five bands. Say I buy this, to be honest. I don't. Oh my god, it's just so fucking dark, bro. I need some sniper ammo. Who just stared at me? Who is staring at me? Ah, oh, I see you, bud. Trust the process. Don't trust the process. In fact, do the exact opposite. Doubt yourself. At every moment of, this, of the way, every step... Fucking doubt yourself. Up we go. Time to get my revenge. Time to get back on this guy. First up, buy some plates. Yep. Support me to society. Me to support to myself. Support me to my family. Now, while they're distracted over there, I shall pick up my weapon. I'll pick up my loadout once again. Appreciate that game. And then I shall third party. Love to see that third party. Yes, sir, buddy. How does that feel, man? Yep, 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 yep. Beautiful. Yep. Let's just get that. Okay, anyway, really nice. It's better. Than I got the bad bitch. She stay tough. Ain't no fucking pain. We ain't game boys. Now we got a name. They want to frame us. Make sure that you keep a third. Where the fuck did he come from, bro? Are you serious? Of anything I could have died by, that was what I expected least. A fucking SUV just to pull up on me for... What the fuck, bro? I mean, I 
broke that guy's shield. If he wins this, if. What the fuck is happening to me? What is happening to me? No, I'm locking in. I'm locking in. That ass, that ass stops. Stop, stop. You guys are literally, it's just going to cut to you guys. It's, it's going to cut to me absolutely beaming three kids. Watch out. I at least got one. I'm like, I guess I can fuck with this. It's not really my fucking cup of tea, you know what I'm saying, bro? I was a slow ass sniper, but. So he booked it. He just fully did the dash. Gonna make a quick gas play. God damn. As I was saying earlier, Warzone forces you to play like a fucking campy player, bro. I can't move, bro. God fucking damn it. I can't believe I won that. I can't believe I won that. I'm I'm sorry, man. Like I really would be so pissed if I were you. And he had and he had the ISO, the fucking meta gun. Fuck happened to the other gas mask I had. What the fuck? Did, I sh did he just take it from me? Some bullshit. Out of my game, bud. Come on, man. What the fuck? Where's he at, bro? I sold so fucking hard. I sold so fucking hard. I sold so fucking hard. This game is so... I can't, bro. This game is so fucking ass, bro. I can't. I can't believe my eyes, man. I got second place, bro. After all that fucking work. After all that time, bro. Oh, my God, bro. I'm ass, I'm ass, I'm ass. <sighs> yeah, man. MW2, Call of Duty. Rest in peace.